first time I saw a Supra, I was 12 years old. I was with my father. He went to a used car dealership. As we were walking around in the hidden corners, I seen two Mark IV Supras for sale. One twin turbo six speed and the other non turbo five speed. It was at that moment where I realized I had to have one. My name is Mo Ibrahim. I drive a 1994 Toyota Supra Mark IV. My love for cars came as a, from when I was a little kid. Uh, anything I can remember, every little toy I got, every, every, everything that can be fixed, even if it wasn't broken, I would try to fix it. So that eventually led into cars. So as a young kid, seeing Supras for the first time, it was kind of like a wake, wake up call, like, look, if you want this and if you want it bad, you will start now. Out of all the Supras that I was looking at on Auto Trader, this was my last option. I ran out of options. But when I came to realization, this wasn't my last option. This was actually meant to be. It's funny, I actually know the exact date and time of when I signed the pink slip. It was officially mine. It was November 13, 2010 at 4.28 p.m. Uh, it was at a used car dealership. It was in kind of beaten condition. It had a replica of Veilside body kit all around. Uh, it, was, it needed a ton of work. It was body work all around needed. Anyone who has the courage and commitment to build something like this is a strong person. I worked every little side job I can do. It all comes down to the point where if you want something so much, no matter how young you are, if you have the mindset, no matter how much you want something, you will get it. There is no such thing as I can't or later in the future. It's now, you gotta work for it. You gotta get there because if you're not, then somebody else is. So you kinda gotta get there first. If I didn't buy this car, somebody else would have. Somebody else would have been enjoying my passion, my pride and joy. Throughout the years, it's gone through a lot. People who know me on a personal level know exactly where this car came from, how I got it, what I've done to it. So all work that's done on this car, mostly done by me. If not, done by my friends of which I trust, truly. Um, if I can't do it, I know somebody who can. They're always willing to help me and that's honestly a blessing. I just like the satisfaction of building my own car, doing my own mods to it, having it on the road, driving very, very clean, and knowing that I'm the one who did this, I'm the one who built this. Best feeling in the world. It's a 2JZ GTE, JDM motor. Uh, I actually got it from an Aristo, being that my car was originally non naturally aspirated, like I mentioned. Uh, Upon building it, it has ARP head studs, uh, OEM TT head gasket, basic, uh, pretty much a basic head build for the beginning. Uh, as far as anything else, I have a Garrett 67 millimeter single turbo, FIC A50 CC injectors, FIC fuel rail, Aeromotive fuel pressure regulator, Walbro 400 LPH fuel pump. I have an AM V2 standalone, which I'm tuned on, pushing 20 pounds. I have custom fabricated intercooler piping, custom made to fit my car just for better assurance so nothing pops off. As far as wheels, I have Workmeister S1 three-piece wheels, uh, custom made by Work Wheels in Japan. Front is 18 by nine and a half plus 37 with a 10 millimeter spacer. Rear fitment is 18 by 11 plus 30 with a 295-35 Nitto NTL5 tire. Right now my suspension consists of BC Racing coilovers with custom spring rates, 11K front, 14K rear. This gives me the advantage of having a nice, stiff, and firm ride. So my exhaust setup is a HKS Catalyst downpipe, followed by a custom 3-inch straight pipe, all the way back from the turbo. I believe it gives it that pure 2J sound. I do have the option of taking off my straight pipe just by a V-band within seconds and putting on my HKS muffler back on just to resonate the sound if I wanted to. But in all honesty, I like the straight pipe more than anything. It gives me that honest, honest sound of a 2JZ. <laughs> what I mean by honest sound, every time I drive the car, I love driving with the windows down. Why? Because it gives me the full effect, full sound of my car. So when I'm listening to my car, as I'm driving, as I'm shifting through gears, it gives me that kind of, it gives me kind of that zesty sound. I don't know how to really put it into words. You know, fond love, head over heels for it. That's exactly what I do every single time I drive it. Like it does not get tiring to me at all. About two and a half years of owning a car, uh, one morning I went to start it up. I was going to school. I go to start up the car, about to drive away. I forget a few items inside the house. Real quick, just as anybody else would probably do, out of instinct, I got down, went to my house, 
grabbed every little thing that I needed. Within two minutes, I came back outside and my car was gone. I looked left, I looked right. I didn't see my car in any corner, any direction. I didn't hear it, nothing. Automatically, I thought someone was playing with me. It wasn't until at least like 10 seconds I realized that my Supra got stolen. Thank God, thank God to advanced technology, GPS tracking system, and with the help of social media at that time, I got my car back within 12 hours. I found it on the side of the road, still in one piece. A few missing parts from the inside, nothing too crazy. Missing strut bars, missing backpack, missing school books. Nothing too crazy. My car is my pride and joy. Simply because I wanted it ever since I was a little kid. Because it's my blood, sweat, and tears. I've worked my whole life for this thing. I didn't depend on anybody. Every little penny that I have ever earned in my life went into this car. I wouldn't want to sell it for anything. I wouldn't want to see my enjoyment into anybody else's hands. Just like, uh, just like a father is to his son, you just can't, you can't leave. There's no way.